Hi, I'm Pastor Lindsay, and I'm doing the Midweek Connection this week as we continue our worship series, Lost in Wonder, Love and Praise. We're going to be taking a look at some of Charles Wesley's hymns this month. So first of all, I think it's really important that we recognize that the Methodist theology is a sung theology. Both John and Charles were both preachers and hymn writers. Both wrote hymns, both preached. Oftentimes they would draw a crowd to them by singing their hymns before they preached in the open air. And, you know, I would venture to say that while a few of us may have a couple of John's lines from his most famous or impactful sermons memorized, I bet more of us have those verses, at least some of the verses of Charles' most famous hymns like Christ the Lord is Risen Today or Hark the Herald Angels Sing. I bet we know those by heart. In fact, the hymns of Charles Wesley have traveled across the world and they have impacted every denomination. Charles wrote over 9,000 hymns, which is just incredible. Um, of course, we don't sing all 9,000 of those anymore, but they do continue to be used everywhere across the globe. One of the most famous hymns is O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing. O oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing is the first hymn in our hymnal, and in fact, since 1780, it has been the first hymn in almost every Methodist hymnal published around the world. It's a tradition. Um, this hymn was written on the anniversary of Charles's heartwarming experience. And many of us know that John had this heartwarming experience at Aldersgate, but a lot of people don't remember that around the same time, Charles had his own heartwarming experience. And a year later, he penned 18 stanzas that we now call, Oh, Four Thousand Tongues to Sing. Only seven of those stanzas are in our hymnal. On page 58, actually, you can find 17 of the 18. But I'd love to share with you a few of my favorites. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, the triumphs of his grace. My gracious Master and my God assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that bids our sorrows cease. Tis music in the sinner's ears, tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of cancelled sin, he sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean, his blood availed for me. These verses take us to the emotional place where Charles was after having his own heartwarming experience. They remind us of God's grace and they invite us into Christian discipleship. This month, as we continue to sing through these wonderful hymns, I want to invite you to pay attention to what we're singing in worship. I believe that we are a people who sing what we believe and who believe what we sing. So as we're in worship this month, pay attention to the words. Some of them will be written by Charles. Others will be written by other Methodists or by people who are deeply impacted by the Methodist movement at nine o'clock. And at 11 o'clock, I've done my best to pick songs that really um, showcase and highlight the Methodist theology, the core of Methodist theology, which is God's surpassing love and grace. So I want to invite you all. I hope that I see you all in worship on Sunday and the Sundays to follow as we all are lost in wonder, love, and praise of our Almighty God.